What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video. It is Wednesday night, July 27th, 2022, about 9.09 p.m. California time. Got a 2.9 earthquake shown up here on the Earthquake 3D Globe, the latest earthquake here, right around the Indonesia area. We have seen uh, still some aftershock sequences there in the Philippines region. Following yesterday's uh, pretty large earthquake out there, the seven pointer that struck. Let's go ahead and check out the USGS map here, showing the activity after shock sequences there around the Philippines. Looks like uh, at least three of them within the vicinity of that seven pointer that struck there yesterday. Uh, the latest quake looks to be a 5.0 within this region. Aftershocks could continue. For quite some time did have a little earthquake um, off the coast here the eastern coast of the uh, Santiago Philippines region 5.1 at 10 kilometers the movement up around the Taiwan area as well that's actually the latest quake within this vicinity so there's still quite a bit of pressure here within this region 4.7 at 33.5 kilometers not a whole lot going on through the western or the uh, eastern portion of the Philippine plate that includes areas around the Mariana Trench. Uh, up north here around the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, getting in on a couple earthquakes. Got a couple lower grade and some mid fours in the mix here. Um, looks a little bit of deeper movement, at least one of those there from uh, earlier today, 4.2, pretty deep at about 137 kilometers into that region. Still seeing though, folks, Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity around the Fiji Islands area, Samoa, Tonga Trench, northern end of the Kermadec Trench. Still watching this area for some possible larger scale movement. Uh, again, the latest quake shows a 4.8, pretty deep, at 588 kilometers. So there's still quite a bit of movement going on down here and ultimately some stronger um, pressure gradients here upstream into the uh, regions where the subduction zone begins. So watch this area pretty closely uh, for some larger scale movement. Of course, we have that 6.2 in the Chile area uh, earlier today. Haven't seen any aftershock sequences there yet, uh, at least as far as 4.0 and above goes. I'm sure there is, but uh, USGS not shown any. We'll check the EMSC model here in just a little bit. South of the uh, Atlantic Ocean looks pretty clear, folks. Not a whole lot going on there throughout the Atlantic and the states. This is the 2.5 and above. Notice nothing going on across the western coast. Now that we've seen that uh, all that earthquake activity in the Philippines and uh, the area around the Fiji Islands region. Uh, microquake activity always existent uh, throughout the eastern portion of the Sierra Nevada and also along the San Andreas Fault. But overall, no major swarm, no major unusual activity to take note of. Uh, I think if I were to look at some stuff, uh, it'd be this region north of Lake Tahoe, a little scattered microquake activity out here along this region. But this is very small, not a whole lot going on, but it is just a little noticeable here on the map as far as the uh, activity goes. Southern California, not a whole lot going on. The Brawley Seismic Zone looks like uh, one earthquake, 1.9 in this region of the Salton Sea. Uh, but overall, again, West Coast is somewhat minimal following the, all the activity there yesterday. Older movement in Texas, older movement from this morning up here in the uh, state of New York. Aside from that, not a whole lot going on. I do wanna point out uh, some activity here. Let me refresh this map, make sure we got the latest quake here from the Earthquake Scanda map. So it looks like yesterday, time frame there was a 5.3 kicking off here notice the uh, timestamp here 5.3 earthquake in, off the coast of the village of Queen Charlotte BC area this is at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone very northern end and this 5.3 came in but I did not see this earthquake uh, striking off the coast here uh, unless it could be this one right here looks like a major downgrade though hold on 4.8 at uh, 0546 let's double check this here 0546 time frame 0546 okay so looks like the usgs did report this 4.8 5.3 um i didn't notice it earlier um so it's kind of a little on the uh, odd side that 
may have included it late. Sometimes the USGS puts out these earthquakes much later uh, after the earthquakes take place. So little activity here at the northern end of the Cascadia. Also some movement in the BC region, the eastern areas. The latest quake shows, uh, looks like a 1.8 in the Fort St. John region of BC. Not a big earthquake uh, at all, but definitely noticeable movement here along this area of the plate boundary. Areas to the east, some activity out here around Quebec, northward. Also some older, much older movement up here uh, to the north. But most of the activity right now over here around the western coast of the BC region. Uh, let's see what we got for Alaska. Bring up the all magnitudes here. Typical day in Alaska. A lot of microquakes throughout the region, but very typical. Hawaii, any uh, movement going on here? Let's go ahead and double check to zoom in to the region here. We're still seeing some swarming activity within the Lohi Seamount following yesterday's 4.6. Uh, seeing quite a few twos and some threes in the mix as well. We haven't noticed any other um, activity far as the uh, volcanoes go. Let me bring up the hazard notification system here and see what we got for the HVO folks. And um, just got the Kilauea daily update from this morning. Uh, looks like the crater or the uh, volcanic eruption activity continues within the crater. Uh, and uh, let's see, ch -ch 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 -ch. no unusual activity has been noted along the east rift zone or the southwest rift zone. Uh, steady rates of ground deformation and seismicity continue along both. Looks like uh, things haven't been um, adjusted yet, but still it's something to watch here pretty closely when we see some movement out here uh, and also some deeper activity. It could be uh, a sign of things to come far as increasing activity at the volcanoes but we haven't noticed it yet some light microquake activity up around the Mauna Loa region and a Pahala area so watching that area pretty closely seems to be halted over here along the western portion of the Philippine plate we haven't seen really uh, too much movement westward so uh, we'll watch these areas pretty closely I think the area we have to watch pretty closely obviously is around the Fiji Islands area um, and northward along the uh, Kurokam, Chaka, and Japan Trench. Yellowstone National Park. We'll run over this real quick here and see what we got. Not a whole lot going on. Looks like the uh, this is going to be the 6.2 that struck earlier today, showing up on the EM on the uh, seismographs here. Uh, a good way to check that is by these timestamps here. This looks like about 1930, maybe 1930. So if you check out the 6.2 there in the South America region, kind of see these uh, timestamps here as well. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? UTC time for this is going to be uh, 1857 UTC time. So let's see, 1857. Yeah, uh, that looks a little later. Hold on a second here. What am I? What am I looking at? Is that right? 1850, 1858 time frame. That would technically put that... Uh, that's kind of weird. That might be a little wrong on that uh, on that timestamp. This earthquake did, or this uh, signature did show up pretty significantly um, all across the region. So not for sure what's going on with that timestamp. I have to look at that a little bit later. Uh, I got to scoot on here. No, nothing going on for trimmer activity here along the Cascadia. Things look pretty clear across the board. We'll check out the volcanic activity around Mount St. Helens. See what we got for the localized seismograph stations here. And um, around the dome station, a little bit up at the summit regions. Some earthquake activity, some microquakes, obviously quite a bit. Uh, at least over the last few hours. Let's check out the uh, previous. Oh, goodness. They're not going to let me see it. Check out the BHZ station. That one works. So looks like a little activity over the course of last 24 hours around the Mount St. Helens area. Notice these spikes uh, indicating some very small microquake activity there at Mount St. Helens. But uh, overall... Nothing significant going on at the volcanoes anywhere along the west coast for now. Uh, looks like we got uh, 
A little bit of storming forecasted here around the July 30th time frame. Looks like three to four K, uh, three to four on the KP index there. 50% chance of higher latitude uh, storming. Not for sure exactly where that's coming from. Possibly from some coronal hole activity, I'm guessing. Maybe uh, from one, one of these regions here. Also got a little bit of activity further south that may enhance that uh, coronal hole activity. As far as noteworthy flares go, we haven't seen any in uh, quite a while. Had a sea flare a couple nights ago, a couple sea flares there. A little higher one and a little moderate sea flare. But uh, things are just kind of minimal at the uh, mo moment, folks, when it comes to the solar flare activity. Uh, only a 35% chance of a sea flare. Less than 1% chance for all other flare categories. So entering into a stage, once again, a minor... Uh, activity. There's a little noteworthy little section here that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Has not been named yet, but that will be 3068. Once that thing uh, gets named, we'll see see if it's named tomorrow. We'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and again, um, just keep a keep a close eye on a couple areas. Um, the six pointer, the 6.2 that struck over here in the South America region came um, obviously after all of this activity but uh, we hadn't really seen too much westward pressure movement here some of this activity here is new 4.0 and the 3.6 here uh, is also newer activity following the 6.2 in Chile so we had come to a stop here a little halt along the western Pacific here and the adjacent plate the Philippine plate uh, that's when we've seen the 6.2 strike up. Sometimes we see these. Looks like a 6. Point, uh, we got a 6.3 coming in right now. Oh, hold on a second here. Let's see what we got. Let me flip back over here to the uh, to the map. Let's go to the EMSC model here real quick and see what we got. Looks like there was just a new earthquake showing up in the South America region. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, goodness. So we got a 6.2 just coming in once again within the last six minutes. 6.2 in the uh, Chile area once again. Now this is a little concerning because this is in the area that has quite a bit of slip rate. Uh, earlier today we had that 6.2 further down dip into the Peru-Chile Trench. And now we're getting another 6.2 further upstream. Sometimes these type of events lead to much, much larger quakes. I'm talking about mega quakes. Uh, Chile is known for some large quakes. And the mega quake category exists throughout the Peru-Chile Trench. So, uh, got to watch this pretty closely with this new event uh, popping up there along the South America region. Let me check out the uh, USGS, see if they got these popping up yet. Uh, Yeah, this is coming in as a 6.3. Nothing from the USGS yet. So again, this activity, folks, uh, coming up here. Got uh, obviously that 6.2 that kicked in earlier today. Stand by for just a second here. I'm going to make sure you guys see this. So we had that 6.2 earlier today, and now just getting a 6.2, another 6.3. Uh, kind of hesitant on which one it is, showing 6.2 up here. I got a notification on a 6.3. So uh, much deeper activity here into the South America region. Much shallower activity upstream. So this is a type of event that we have to watch pretty closely in terms of uh, maybe seeing a mega quake here. Um, so the one struck earlier was about 82 kilometers deep. This one that just struck 80 kilometers, but that is all subject to change. Uh, just occurring about eight minutes ago or so. Offshore, uh, it looks like of Chile and the uh, Tsunami Warning Center. Let me double check this, see if we got anything. Nothing going on yet. Most of the time we're not gonna see that with a six pointer. Nothing from the USGS yet, so. We'll keep an eye on it. If it does get uh, upgraded or downgraded, we'll revise in our update video. But uh, definitely a lot of activity. When we see multiple sixes here in the Peru Chile Trench, uh, some deep, some shallow, 
that's an uh, that's obviously a good sign to uh, watch this area pretty closely, folks. All right, guys, we're gonna bounce out here, and uh, we'll keep an eyeball on it and see what uh, see what it becomes. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there.